Hello and welcome to Rando Rob. Each week on Rando Rob, I'll be showing and discussing one item from my large collection of collections. New shows appear every Monday and throughout the week, I'll be adding older episodes of Rando Rob that were previously only available to my Patreon subscribers. You can watch episodes of Rando Rob on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Rob O'Hara. Just look for the Rando Rob playlist. Audio versions of the show are available on my website at podcast.robohara.com or through iTunes. Just search for Rando Rob. Thanks for watching or listening, and I hope you enjoy this vintage episode of Rando Rob. Hi, everybody. Welcome to a uh, very special episode of uh, Rando Rob. You know, um, normally once a week I uh, pull up the camera. I turn on the camera and I pull something out of my uh, computer room and we... Uh, show it off and we talk about it or whatever but uh, this week I am out here unpacking and getting things set up in my workshop so I thought I would show you a little bit of uh, what I've been working on it's kind of a mess uh, actually over here on my on my bench you can see uh, <clears throat> some different things I've been testing I was uh, using this this is uh, one of my old console copiers for the Super Nintendo and uh, I used that for this week's actually how many people have two in their garage? Well, I have about 10 <laughs> sitting around here. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've been testing, cleaning, doing all kinds of stuff uh, out here. In fact, um, <clears throat> over on this table <laughs> is where I've dumped out a bunch of the stuff that I've had in storage. Uh, this is all stuff I've been testing, cleaning. Um, there's definitely some unique items uh, here on the table. This is... Uh, this is another console copier. Uh, these are devices, if you're not familiar, that uh, you would plug into a console and uh, then there would be an attachment on the top with a disk drive and you could copy cartridges and save them onto disks. And that's uh, basically how you got ROM files uh, to use for emulators and things like that. And this is a, a multi-game hunter. The other piece is uh, sitting here next to it. Uh, this is the part that attaches on the top. <coughs> and um, this particular one is unique because it does both Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. So it's kind of a cool copier. What else is here? <clears throat> kind of, usually I like to just show one thing a week, but I'm gonna show you a bunch of things today. So you're getting your money's worth on this video, that's for sure. Uh, this is a little dusty right now, uh, but an original PlayStation, <clears throat> but you can see it's blue. And that's because this is a uh, development unit. Uh, so development units, there's been a, a long argument what the uh, hardware differences are inside. Some people say that they have more RAM built in so that they could run debugging tools, but I don't know if that that's a fact. Um, but the main thing is that uh, <clears throat> the debug units don't have any sort of copy protection. So you can just literally burn CDRs. You don't need a mod chip or anything, and you can just play them uh, right on this device. Now, um, I thought there used to be a sticker on this one not all the ones i had had stickers i actually bought an auction lot uh of five of these and i sold four of them uh, but those uh were all owned by a claim <laughs> and when a claim filed bankruptcy they uh, sold those off and i bought a lot of those uh there's a lot of different uh, weird pieces of hardware on here this is a um uh, another console copier here this is a uh a z 64 that is a console copier for the nintendo 64 that uses zip disks <clears throat> and so again the same uh, idea i'm not really good at doing this am i uh that you put a cartridge here in the top and uh then you, you turn this on it has to be plugged into a nintendo 64 and uh there's a uh, uh drive on the side that uses zip disks they move to zips uh, zip disks over floppies because uh, Nintendo 64 games were uh, so much bigger. But there's uh, lots of uh, console copiers and weird stuff uh, on this table. Lots of old hardware. Let's see what else is out here that might be interesting. Um, over on this uh, area, <clears throat> this is um, hardware that's not being used there's the uh, clear crt uh clear monitors televisions uh like that 
basically come out of prisons. <laughs> I have two of them. I have a flat screen one, the one that's on my Ultimate uh, 64. That's also in a clear case. And then I have that CRT one that also works. And both of them have uh, prisoners' numbers etched into them, which is a little weird. Uh, <clears throat> what else do we have over here? Lots of Commodore disk drives. Not lots, um, but uh, a few laying around. There's a, a, a regular... 1541 sitting there. There's a, a Vic 1541 sitting there. Uh, looks like uh, crammed in here. We've got uh, a 128. I think that is a, I uh, can't tell if that's another 128 or a C64C. Over here, there's some, look at these. This is the Pile O Apple IIs. Um, and notice that one on the bottom there. That is a Bell & Howe Apple II, which was only sold uh, to schools as educational uh, Apple IIs. And they're all black, which I think is really cool. And they're really hard to find. And mine is missing one key, <laughs> which annoys me uh, to all ends of the earth. And it's here somewhere. It fell off in the move, so I will find it. Uh, also up there, we've got, uh, you can see the back of um, some Amdeck monitors. The Amdeck monitor is um, a really old, it was, it was really common with uh, Apple II computers. A lot of people had them, and I'm walking back over so you can see the front one because I've been using one for testing. Um, so this is what they look like uh, from the front here. And uh, <clears throat> that is uh, not that one, but one of the ones that's up there is one of the ones that we had with our Apple computer when I was a kid. And I've always loved the aesthetics. They're really good if you go to game shows because they have a, a built-in handle. And they have RCA inputs in on the back. Well, they have a RCA for video and a three and a half inch in uh, for audio, but with an adapter, you can also do RCA. So they're great for uh, classic computers and classic consoles, which is what I use them for. So uh, I definitely love owning one. Not really sure why I own four. <clears throat> they're very attractive. Um, here's something else that's out here that I just found while I was cleaning up stuff. I need this box is not the best box here in the world, and I'm going to turn it this way. Uh, this is a, uh, a Rally 4 uh, Pong machine, and you can see the picture of it there. So this is one of 8 million Pong clones uh, that were out there, and you can see it has the uh, uh, wood panel built in. This one is complete with all the styrofoam and everything. Uh, but this is uh, literally the first gaming system, uh, first electronic anything, I think, that uh, I ever owned. Um, it was, uh, uh, I was four years old when we got that. And uh, if you listen to episode number one of You Don't Know Flack, uh, I talk about the first uh, computer I ever owned which was a TRS-80 Model 3. I talk about the first arcade game I ever bought, and I talk about the first video game console I ever owned, uh, which was a Pong clone. That's it, that's the one. And so I still have it. So I've got to move it into the house. And, uh, like I said, the box is not in the best condition anymore, but uh, <clears throat> it is what it is. It's a survivor. It's uh, over 40 years old. It's like me. <laughs> it's not a survivor, and I'm over 40 years old. Uh, behind me, is uh crap <laughs> um paint and, and different things and, and those are shelves that i built um but i got that tv this is one of the tvs that i mentioned on one of my shows i got two flat screen tvs at a garage sale uh, combined for five dollars so that is a two and a half dollar uh <laughs> um 32 inch flat screen television now i had to order a remote for it online and the remote was eight dollars so i paid eight dollars for the remote and two and a half dollars uh, for the television but i've got ethernet wireless run out here um, i've actually got gigabit uh run that runs to the house through conduit underneath the concrete uh which uh makes it pretty nice so i can stream uh things to it or whatever um <clears throat> looking around for one or two more things here to show you um this, <laughs> that is literally bu bubble wrap. <clears throat> when I was a kid, I had this. And this is 
the Mighty Men and Monster Maker. And so what you do with this is you pick three different tiles. You pick a head, you pick a body, and then you pick a pair of legs. And then you move them over, you see how they fit together, and you move them over to this side, and you put a piece of paper, and then you do a, a crown rubbing uh, over it to get the outline, and they're all indented. And, um, <clears throat> uh, and then once you do that, then you um, uh, take colored pencils and color them in. I was a big fan of that thing when I was a kid. My sister had the equivalent, which was the Barbie version. And, um, <clears throat> and so I got that. And I was always a big fan of that. Uh, finally, I think this is the last thing I'll show you. Well, I'll show you a couple things right here. Um, this is uh, Bobby Dazzler. <laughs> um, I have an idea for Bobby Dazzler. Uh, Bobby Dazzler is a, a CPR dummy. His, uh, this all peels up, the chest comes out, the uh, mouth is all uh, 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 movable, posable. And um, <clears throat> what I would like to do is some sort of animatronic or motor where I can make his mouth move and I wanna hook it up. I already have a Raspberry Pi uh, that plays random sounds for Bobby's voice, but I want it to move or maybe have the eyes light up or something as he uh, talks. Uh, because sometimes it gets lonely out here in the shop when I'm working, and so it's nice to have uh, uh, company. <clears throat> this is a uh, highway sign that says uh, McDonald's food this way. There's the uh, Barbados sign. Again, we are in North Barbados, this half of the workshop. Uh, and finally, there's the R. And um, uh, I actually have a, a giant O <laughs> that I bought first. Uh, the O is metal. The R is plastic. I believe this came from a Red Lobster sign. Uh, that we saw on the side of the interstate. Uh, it was in the trash. It wasn't like a billboard that was on the, the side of the interstate. But um, uh, but I got the O first because I was going to hang it and it was going to be O for O'Hara's uh, uh, workshop. But it's metal and I haven't uh, put up the supports for it yet. But uh, the R is plastic and uh, with a single screw. <laughs> you can put that up. Now you can see my uh, Ethernet cable. I've got to get up and run that... Uh, along the top of the sheetrock over here to the uh, television. So, And um, things are going great, man. People are loving the podcast. They're loving both podcasts, Bright Castle and You Don't Know Flack. I've been getting positive uh, feedback on both shows, and um, uh, I'm loving doing them. And, and uh, in between shows and, and work and everything else, I come out here to the workshop and clean stuff and uh, test video game systems, I guess, is what I'm doing. I think most of the stuff's about to go for sale, actually. Uh, to be honest with you. So uh, now that I've got the Mr., I don't really need Nintendo's, Super Nintendo. Um, I've got a couple of uh, donor uh, Dreamcasts out here. I think they work, but I I'm, would like to install a GDMU uh, in one of those so that I can play games off the SD card. Um, so I've got a lot of plans. Hey, you know what? It's sitting right here. Uh, where's the other card that goes with that? Let me see if I can find the card. Here we go. <clears throat> Back before you kids had your fancy EverDrives, <laughs> I had this is uh, one of the things I picked up. This is a uh, uh, a Sega flash card from Toto Tech, uh, and I believe Toto Tech is still around T O T O T E K uh, dot com. But this was a flash card where you could flash um, a certain amount of Sega Genesis games onto that and put that into a Genesis. But you flashed it with this thing, which hooked up to your computer. Uh, I don't even know what to do with this yet. And this is literally like in the pile that may just go in the trash. Uh, you have to have a parallel port uh, to uh, flash it. Plus you have to have the software and the software doesn't run on uh, modern versions of Windows. And my modern computer doesn't have a parallel port anymore. So, and it was one of those things that was cool to play with at the time, but uh, doesn't seem to have much value now. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to cleaning. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your support, your feedback, your messages, and most of all, just for listening to the show. That is the greatest reward of all. So uh, thank you guys. And I will talk to you all soon.